extremely happy with the way things went. The car feels really good. Um, I think we're very competitive. They've given me an awesome car, and it's just, you know, there weren't very many mistakes made. Um, I think we made our way through traffic really well, and I think, uh, yeah, it should be. Oh, touch wood, I just so don't want to jinx us, you know, Um, but it should be a good race for us. You said basically you did a triple stint at this point, which wasn't necessarily planned. It's just the way the yellows fell. Yeah, and when Tim said, I think we were getting close to pit for tyres, so I had to like double stint the tyres as well, and that gets a little bit, you know, Continental have done such an amazing job that once they go a little bit off, they kind of stay at that level. So um, I was a bit worried, but it turned out that I didn't need to be worried at all because it was fine. Um, And... Yeah, and he said, you're going to stay in the car. I was thinking, okay, how long has this been now? <laughs> no, it's good. You know, with the other kinds of racing that I'm used to doing, you sure. stay in the car for that long. So if it was up to me, I'd be doing the whole 24 hours and it'd be <laughs> drip-feeding me. <laughs> Any surprises? Any close calls out there so far? No, I um, I was messing with the brake bias a little bit as the you know, tyres were transitioning, and I went a little bit too far on the on the forward bias and I would always do it into one because you've always got lots of room into one and I had a little lock up and I think that was the only moment that I would say I made a mistake um, so that was good I think for the most part getting past traffic and everything I made good decisions uh, we had a issue pulling out the pits um, with the clutch but I didn't know about that until I went to pull out the pits you know mm. and then we couldn't restart the car either so um, these are things that you always come up across and hopefully we can just commit that to memory banks and I did tell the team what the problem was so that Andy would maybe not have that issue but he did so it's a shame but we'll get past it and keep pushing. So now what do you do between now and when you get back in the car? Sleep, eat, no I'm actually probably not going to sleep before I get back in but I'll eat, I'll talk to my dad (laughs) (laughs) and um, you know I'll talk to the team and we'll see what's changed and what's going to happen and just generally chill out I guess.